thank you. Uh, very quickly. When I start uh, filming eight years ago, I was started with my mobile phone. And the only thing I was, I'm, I was sure that I'm doing, this is something important for my country and for us. I've never thought where I'll be like later. The only thing I felt, I, I really believed that one day Syria will be free and Assad will gone. And I hope, I'm, I'm passionate about being a filmmaker and I want to do more, but I've never thought to be like really to, tonight here. And the situation is still bad. So I will do another film and it will be about Syria. And I will keep going for this. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm so grateful for everyone and for everything, for our great team, for Channel 4 News, Ben and Naveen, who started with me when I was inside Aleppo. And literally three years ago, like today, no one knows like how things will be. And we were stuck in Aleppo. We don't know if we will get out or not. And they were just like, woke up through the whole night, just checking the news from Aleppo. Thank you also for Siobhan from Channel 4, from Dan from PBS, and from, for George from ITN, for Jenny, Haley, and Zach, Crystal, uh, Simon and Chloe, and everyone who worked on this project. My husband, My husband <laughs> again, yes. He always wants a lot of credit. Thanks, because you are in my life. It's not about this award. I did my speech. I didn't expect to be up here His twice. I'm done. <laughs> but I would like to say to my wife, who is the unnamed exec on this project, like every day when the whole team went home and like it was all done, I'd show her what we'd done. And she was like, yesterday was a lot better. So the film is what it is, thanks to her. Olivia Scarlett is her name. So yeah. And thank, thank you all. Me. And thanks, Biffa. And thanks BFI, and thanks Channel 4, and thanks all of you. And thanks to this amazing woman, because what I did is nothing compared to what she did. She is the one.